this is Lana Melman. I'm the CEO of Liberate Art. Today, we have invited Avi Lieberman, a stand-up comic and screenwriter, to join us in the artist corner. I also wanted to touch on something that, you know, is very, uh, that I'm very concerned with, and I think a lot of people who support Israel and support freedom of artistic expression are very concerned with, and that is the cultural um, boycott campaign. Right, BDS, yeah. BDS. And just for people who might not be as familiar as you and I, um, it, BDS stands for Boycott, Divestments, and Sanctions. And it is a movement by people who are really uh, not interested in fostering peace. And the goal is to really ostracize Israel. Uh, they focus in on boycotts that are economic, academic, cultural, and even in the sports area. So one of the things that happens is that when international artists from the United States or whatever uh, want to perform in Israel, they often get targeted and come under fire and pressure uh, to, to cancel their upcoming engagements. So I have two questions. The first one is, um, have, has anyone, any of the comics that you brought over had any experience with that? And then I'd also like to hear you talk about your, uh, how you feel about BDS. Um, I haven't really had, I mean, I've had comics concerned from the safety issue, uh, you know, because the news sensationalizes everything to the nth degree for ratings. And, um, you know, they'll be concerned about safety. So I've, I've run into issues with that, um, but never, you know, I mean, thank God I'm in America, you know, so the majority of people, they kind of know better and they're pro-Israel, but most of the comedic community, with a few exceptions, and, um, they're very pro-Israel and I haven't really had, um, you know, issues with that. Th that hasn't been an issue in terms of the comedians thinking, oh, I don't want to go because of that, um, or they disagree with Israeli policy. That, 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 it, it hasn't been for politics. And, um, usually it's just a scheduling thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are interested in going now anyway. Uh, and, um, or it's like something will happen in the news and it'll, it'll freak them out a little bit. You know, and I mean, understandably so. If, it, if, if the only access you had to Israel was our media, uh, right. you know, and also, you know, the ones who know better are the ones who've been there, are the ones who talk to people that, that go there a lot. Well, what's your opinion about this? You know, I have very strong opinions about yeah, it. It's straight up anti-Semitism. I mean, flat out. Most of the people that I find on, about BDS, they're either just straight up anti-Semites and you can't, or there's a lot of, they're very ignorant. Uh, they just, I'm not saying they're not smart, no, but they don't know, like, and as soon as I'll say, okay, so a moral equivalent, would you boycott China and Saudi Arabia? And, and they, they kind of don't know what to, you know, I was like, so you'd boycott, you know, Israel has a gay pride parade. Israel has women, Israel's had a woman head of state is, you know, you're boycotting that. And they just, they kind of don't know what to say. I mean, there are a hundred plus countries that have 130 something, I think I have way worse human rights violations in Israel. But it's just, it's a cute way to single out Israel because it happens to be the homeland of the Jewish people. What a coincidence. You know, and, and, and then it's, and it's just a way for them to express their anti-Semitism, really. Um, that's, you know, I tell people, I go, anti-Semitism should be thrilled Israel's here. How else would you express it? It would be too obvious. You know, but now when you <laughs> mask it behind, oh, I just hate Israel. I don't hate the Jews. That's uh, right. That's, that's right. right. Some, of, some of my best friends. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and one of the things that I invite you to also consider is not just, I don't compare Israel to China or Iran or Russia. Right. What I do when, when that comes up, I say, well, do you approve of all the policies of the United States or, you know, or France or, or you know, free democratic society? Right. I, I, I get this a lot. I hear, you know, I've heard that... Um, well, Israel's a Western, they, we hold them to a different standard. They're Western, they should know better. And I, my response to that is I'll usually start the conversation and go, do you believe that black people and white people should drink from the same water fountains? No separate mm -hmm. water fountains. And then, and then I go, of course. And I go, then you're gonna have a real hard time defending your position, you know, mm -hmm. because just as there should be no special rules for black people or white people, uh -huh. no special rules for the Jews. You should, right. there should be one moral equivalent. The Arabs do not get a free pass to be racist because they're Arabs. That makes you racist against them. Well, I don't expect any Arab country to be, to be a de democracy or, de you know. Uh, Hillel Moyer pointed this out, I think, when he spoke in front of the UN. And he goes, Where, who are the apartheid states? He goes, Iraq had this many Jews. Egypt had this many Jews. And Syria had this. Where are they all? Who's the apart who are the apartheid states? Why are they all gone? If you're so, if the Arabs are so open-minded and understanding, you know, why don't, you know, I mean, Netanyahu said, uh, 
do I believe the Arabs in Israel are a threat to our security? The Arabs, he goes, no, I don't. Then why would Jews in, in Judea and Samaria, or the West Bank, whatever you want to call it, why would they be a threat? Why do they all have to leave? You know, right. why do they get a pass to be racist? And they shouldn't, you know, I'm sorry, but you either have one set of rules that you hold everybody to, or you believe in separate water fountains. And if you don't, you can't take that approach. And so they, you know, that's it. Well, that's I, I, very well argued. So thank you for sharing. <laughs>